Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. This is a video you do not want to miss. I'm going to give you all the details. So there's this document that has just been made public. Although this was originally filed November 2019, in May 2020, so just a couple days ago, this just got released. And the information in this is shocking. So this is a patent filed by Visa. Yeah, that visa, the Visa International Service Association. And what this is, is a patent for Visa to make a central bank digital dollar on the Ethereum blockchain. This is a major step in the direction of a cash ban, where all of our cash would be replaced by a central bank digital currency. And we are seeing steps, we're seeing steps taken in real time to make a cash ban a real reality. I'm going to show you the details. So while everybody else is sleeping on this, you, me, the cryptocurrency community, we're getting a glimpse into a possible future. So everybody like the video, support the channel. Let's get this video out there to as many people as possible. Let's find out the details. Visa looks to be laying the groundwork for a future in which fiat currencies such as the US dollar could be easily turned into a central bank digital currency. California-based payment giant, which processes upwards of 100 million transactions every day on average, has filed a patent application for a process for turning physical fiat currency into a newly digitalized version. The filing, which was filed with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in November and made public on Thursday, says the system would be able to mint digital fiat currencies and keep a tally of all the issuances on the blockchain managed by a central entity computer. The system would also remove physical cash from circulation. It's crystal clear. By the sound of it, newly created digital fiat would be the exact equivalent, like for like, with physical cash. The denomination and serial number would even be carried over into the new system. The patent also says some sort of trusted certificate would be required to mint the digital cash presumably to keep issuance a tightly controlled process. So this is specifically meant to get rid of physical cash and create a cryptocurrency, a centralized cryptocurrency, and really a, a central bank digital dollar. And if you look at the official patent that was filed, Ethereum is mentioned specifically multiple times. It is important to stress that just because Visa has filed this patent application doesn't necessarily mean it is intent on developing a digital fiat currency system. What it does show, however, is existing electronic payment firms, ones that have done extraordinarily well in the existing legacy system, are now also exploring innovations in the realm of money. So this is bullish for Bitcoin, bullish maybe for Ethereum, but bad for citizens who like their privacy. Now, um, you know, what's, what's the overall takeaway? You know, is this bullish for the price of Ethereum? Well, I mean, I definitely say this is a good sign for Ethereum, especially compared to other altcoins. You don't see stuff like this happening on Tron. You don't see stuff like this happening on Cardano. And obviously, again, to be clear, what we're talking about is a centralized cryptocurrency that's being built on the Ethereum blockchain that's being patented by Visa. If this plays out during a more mature stage of the bull run, this is definitely something that could send Ethereum's price soaring. So for me personally, I don't know if Ethereum will stand the test of time like I think Bitcoin will. But, you know... Ethereum compared to the, to the rest of the altcoin market, in my opinion, I don't see it going to zero anytime soon. In fact, it seems to me like Ethereum might be, um, you know, highly speculated on during the next cycle. So in my opinion, Ethereum is one of the best altcoins to trade in the next cycle. Now, that being said, I will not be a buyer until Bitcoin breaks all-time highs, actually until retail gets back in, which will probably be when Bitcoin breaks all-time highs. But, I mean, whether this works out for Ethereum or not, this is surely, this kind of news is surely a net positive for Ethereum right now. Moving on, in other news, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling tweeted asking her millions of followers about Bitcoin yesterday. 
and crypto Twitter went crazy. So not only did she get inundated with people making Harry Potter references trying to explain to her what magical internet money is, Elon Musk was even tweeting at her about Bitcoin. So celebrities tweeting at each other about Bitcoin. Again, surely a bullish sign. During the tweet storm, Elon Musk actually disclosed to her that he owns 0.25 Bitcoin. So Elon Musk, this is interesting to me because Elon Musk recently made news for selling all of his worldly possessions, yet he's still holding his Bitcoin. And, you know, while Elon's intention when disclosing to her that he owns 0.25 Bitcoin, I mean, the subtext of that um, is, hey, I don't own that much. You know, what Elon doesn't realize is that 0.25 Bitcoin may be worth a lot of money in the future because of how scarce Bitcoin is. You know, that's my bias. That's my opinion. All right. Before we get to some other recent news, I did want to bring to your attention this 50% off sale that Ledger is doing right now. It's the We Are the Bull Run 50% off a Ledger Nano S. So if you wanted to pick one of these up for 50% discount, you could head on over in our description, our affiliate link, protect and store your crypto with a Ledger Nano. And you could click this and it would bring you right here. And then you'd see the 50% off Ledger sale. Um, and also, if you, if you wanted to get something beyond the Ledger S, you could go over to products. You could go over, you see they have the X or the S, and we could go to compare devices. And if we click on compare devices, um, I actually have both of these. I have both the Ledger Nano S, which is a bestseller, and the Ledger Nano X, which is a little bit newer, and also I think a bestseller. Um, but the Ledger Nano X um, can hold a lot of uh, crypt. It's Bluetooth. It's safe, but it has Bluetooth capabilities, and it can also hold a lot more uh, coins. I think the Ledger Nano S can only hold, hold like three or four. The X can hold like 100. Now, if you're only storing Bitcoin or maybe Bitcoin and a few others, you might only need the Ledger Nano S because it's still just as safe. But I did want to let you know about the sale going on. So I'm pretty sure that means you can get a Ledger Nano S for around 30 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, if you if, if you think your crypto is going to be worth a lot of money someday, why not treat it as such, you know, protect it. And, and, and again, Feel free to use the affiliate links in the description. It really helps us out, supports the channel in a way that doesn't really cost you anything extra. So moving on, a couple of quick pieces of news. Post having reality, 17% of miner revenue is now coming from fees. In the post having reality, Bitcoin miners revenue has dropped by over 60%. So this is a reality, you know, over time as halvings keep taking place. And again, we've only had three, but over time, um, miners are going to get less and less from, um, you know, mining blocks and um, they're going to continue mining because they're going to make money through fees. Um, so, you know, because Bitcoin isn't going in the direction of a Litecoin or a Bcash, and we're trying to have the most secure uh, base layer there is, it's a fact that fees are going to be around and in the future fees will probably increase. Now, as a means of payment, like something to um, compete with Visa or Venmo, you know, Bitcoin is not ready for that. That is not something Bitcoin can win at. But Bitcoin as digital gold, um, you know, the fees and the speed, it's still, um, you know, a lot better than the, what we have right now. And as digital gold, uh, you know, Bitcoin, I think will do very well. And, but I want to do, you know, this is the reality. Minor fees um, are there. Next piece of news. Forget alt season. Bitcoin dominance registers golden cross in blow to altcoins. So, um, you know, you can read through this article yourself. Uh, you know, this doesn't really surprise me. Uh, you know, like I've been saying for a long time, um, you know, altcoins will have an alt season once retail gets back in and near the end half of when retail gets back in. Most altcoins are shitcoins, only good for speculation. And most new people getting into cryptocurrency, they get into Bitcoin, but then they look for the next Bitcoin or they look for that altcoin that really fits the um, in their mind. Oh, man, it would be blockchain would be really good for this. So in my opinion, you know, altcoins are great for making more Bitcoin and, you know, now is not the time, in my opinion, for that to happen. Now, if you're a trader, maybe you have different ideas than me, 
but it seems that Bitcoin dominance is increasing. And taking a look, not that we won't have very many rallies with altcoins like we've seen plenty of times throughout the past three years, but I'm talking about the big rally, like everybody talks about alt season, that's not gonna happen until retail gets back in. Taking a look at the Bitcoin price, Bitcoin is sitting at 9,300. You can see that we've made a series of lower highs in the short time frame, and we're kind of consolidating and yeah, see you tomorrow, guys. It is turning out to be a fantastic, magical Harry Potter, Elon Musk year. Visa, Ethereum.